My name is Jennifer Gelino, and I'm the director of our Holyoke Summer Strings program. Um, and I've been teaching the Holyoke Public Schools on this program for around six or seven years now. Um, so we've grown a lot as far as our time of day. It used to be a two-hour camp uh, that was created by a group called Musicorda. And at this point, it's now mostly supported by a group called Friends of Holyoke Public Schools. Uh, we also get funding from other grants, uh, organizations and such, and private donors. Um, and now it's a five-hour camp that includes uh, violin, cello, viol instruction, yoga, chorus, arts and crafts, um, and it's all free to the students of Holyoke. I've been playing violin for a little over 20 years. We use a, a method that's based off the Suzuki method, so it's a modified Suzuki approach. Um, and it's basically taught through ear and language, and then eventually we add reading music um, into the equation. So it's mostly group lessons. We try to offer some like one-on-one -on -one time as well, and uh, they do a great job. So that's pretty much how it's always done. Well, everyone has a little prior knowledge of music, I think. You know, even if they're listening to pop music, um, you're still getting an understanding of time and beat. But it's really amazing. I always say there's something in the water in Holyoke because all the kids do really well. I mean, these kids, about half of them started in the camp this month. They'd never played a string instrument before. And they're already doing a great job. This is, this is our fourth week of it. So there's something in the water. <laughs> and it doesn't make sense that they uh, are able to learn this quickly, but they do. So they're very hard workers. And I would even say talented, but I think the fact that they work so hard is the most important thing. But I think a lot of people are drawn to strings because it has a really warm, comfortable sound. And especially when you're dealing with um, youth in urban areas that may also be at risk. Um, it's a really great way to get an instant success. The minute they draw their bow against the string or they pluck the string, they're given a reward. They're get, they succeed every single time. So we try to always keep that idea of succeeding in our lesson planning.